Welcome to Unbiased and on the Fence. I'm Shane. I just wanted to uh, share some photos here that I took with my telescope. I know there's a uh, a uh, there's other videos out there where they take pictures of the planets and they don't look at all like planets but here you can see Jupiter and its moons um, here I did darken it a little bit so you could sort of make out the bands going across it uh, it's not as apparent these are from April but you can sort of make out the bands going diagonally across Jupiter in the traditional way we're used to seeing it actually uh, that was from April 29th I have some more recent ones too uh, this was May 26th. Here you can see the moons are in a different position around Jupiter. Really, really interesting stuff. Uh, these were taken from Tulsa, of course. Here's a shot of the moon just a few days ago, at the end of May, just to give you an idea of just how close the uh, telescope is zooming in. And of course, if you guys don't know about Bruce Sees All YouTube channel, definitely check that out. He can zoom in far enough that you can make out structures on the moon fantastic YouTube channel that you should definitely know about if you're into uh, stuff like this and uh, so uh, this has been a lifelong dream of mine is to capture a photo or actually just to see Saturn through the telescope and here you can see Saturn you can see the the rings around it it's actually a little bit better in this footage that I have here uh, just taken a few days ago but almost looks like a flying saucer going across there but this is actual footage. And you can see the breeze just makes the cam the uh, telescope wobble a little bit, but you can definitely make out Saturn and its rings. Very awesome. This is Venus just from last night. Very bright. Um, I couldn't adjust it to look any better than this, really. But, uh, and this was Jupiter again from last night. Uh, keep in mind, we are going to have that, uh, just a small get-together in Tulsa later this month. So if you haven't sent me an email already, please do so to shanecrob at gmail.com. That is in the description below. You just have to add the at gmail.com to it. And, uh, just let me know you're interested in it. I'm not really going to announce it over the channel other than... Uh, getting people's email addresses and uh, you can just put Tulsa in the subject line another thing I wanted to show is this was actually the Sun from a few days ago and you can notice the sunspots right here now my telescope uh, has a mirror in it so it's gonna be reversed from the images we see that are put out by uh, NASA but this is a NASA comparison uh, of from that same day and you can see that you know, we've got this sort of dipper looking sunspot on the sun. And it was pretty much the reverse in the photos and the video that I took of the sun. So things were matching up. Uh, I know NASA does lie about a lot of stuff and they put out a lot of uh, bad stuff. But I definitely think there is some truth mixed in with it. And uh, just like anything else, lies mixed with truth. So we, we never know. But... I just wanted to show that the information I was receiving through my telescope on that day at the sun with my solar filter on, of course, uh, matched up with what NASA was putting out. And uh, I actually got this image from Mr. VB 333's website. Uh, he's uh, He's got a YouTube channel, but he also has a website with a lot of resources that you can connect with NASA's instruments and the Schumann resonance and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to share this and document it. And we'll see you on the next one. I got a show planned for later today, a live stream, and a live stream for tomorrow as well. So I'll see you guys there. Have a good one.